Hey, thanks for tuning in to Movie and a Model. This week we're going to see Yesterday with Himesh Patel. It's an amazing movie that I've been wanting to see for a really long time, so I'm really excited tonight. But before we get to the movie, we have to pick up Julia Sai. She's an up-and-coming model in Hollywood, and she's ready to take on the modeling world by storm. See you guys in a sec. Everybody, here's a round of applause for Julia Sai. What's going doing? on? How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. So, how's everything been going with you, Julia? Really good. Enjoying the life, enjoying the weather, enjoying mm -hmm. the beautiful day that it is today, June, whatever date it is. I don't even <laughs> <Right>. know. <laughs> I don't even know what date it is. All right, all right. Yeah. So, today we're going to see the movie Yesterday uh, with Himesh Patel. And this is like a really, it's like a really cool concept that uh you know this guy basically wakes up one day and everyone forgot that the beatles existed so you know he has like all this uh you know all this opportunity available to him you know what i mean just stealing that stuff you know mm -hmm. i mean i don't blame him right <laughs> <laughs> we probably all would have done the same thing right so, right you know can't blame him so much. if so quick question then if you woke up one day and someone was going to forget about some artists what artists Music with you still. Sade. Sade. Okay. Alright. No one else like her or them, whatever you want to refer to. Alright. Um, but it's the truth. That is like like Ah I'm dead. If nobody knew about her music, I would be like How I mean, like I need to steal that. I'm sorry. That, that sorry, Sade. That, that makes sense. Shade, we got you. Actually, that's actually a compliment. That is, it is, it's it is. a serious compliment. I'm like, nobody, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a ser it's a serious compliment. What about you? Okay, so for me, um, I probably would have to say I'd have to steal Michael Jackson's music. It's because Mike, Mike, Michael! Is, you know, I guess besides being the highest selling artist of all times, he's, uh, you know, really, you know, the music was amazing. Oh, yeah, super talented and all that. But, you know, also, I mean, obviously he's amazing, but a lot of his stuff was a lot of also performance based. Right. So, I mean, the music itself obviously is amazing. But Very true. also, you know, as far as like, yeah, just like lyrical. Julia, Julia. 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 If that's a song, if, uh -huh. that's, if that's a word, uh, you know, yeah, there's a lot of great artists Got definitely you. yeah i would think um also uh if it was a current artist oh yeah that's a good current one. artist good who, who, one. Would you, good. who would you uh who would you uh pick i mean if i was a rapper okay i would say right. j cole because j cole's the greatest okay. i don't even want to no. hear nobody say anything uh, about him if i ever catch any of you bad mouthing j cole i'm gonna come show up uh, and i'm gonna play all his songs uh, back to back right under your window okay i'll be playing this loud so that you can't sleep so you'll be listening to them the whole time uh yeah but probably j cole um because honestly nowadays i mean there's a lot of great artists but as far as like yeah if i wanted to just do the music i would say j cole awesome 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 what about you current artists current artists um i'm probably just gonna have to go with drake started from the yeah. bottom now i'll probably have to take hey. drake's music because hey that's a good one drake is like oh, he's, he's everything yeah he's 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 not j cole but he is everything yeah he's the guy he, he's so versatile from singing to rapping it's like you're not gonna really get too much and his, his actually stuff is really good. Like so he has it deep is. songs. He has like turn up songs. He has like he has everything. He's yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a great all around artist. Like you're not gonna get too much better. A hundred percent. I absolutely yeah. agree. He's like a new breed. Like this actually, if you really think about it, there's nobody else like him. Like, no, not at all. Me. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we are going to um, pick up some snacks today. So uh, we're gonna see what kind of snacks Julia likes to eat. So, oh all right, cool. So we're going, we're going to get some <laughs> snacks, and we'll be back in a sec. I got blueberries. I am addicted to sugar. 
sugar okay. <laughs> sugar recovering addict over here so i heard that berries are really good for that stuff and they're just really easy to eat pre-washed all that stuff and plantain chips because i love them but these are jerk style never tried that jerk before. style no, we'll jerk see, style, see yeah. a little, little jerk we'll, there we'll eh? let you know afterwards we're gonna do a movie review and a snack review so okay right. cool all right that, that works and also a uh, trail mix or trek mix i don't know why they call it that so this is almonds cranberries and cashews so once again this has a little bit of sugar from the cranberries and i love nuts kind of fills you up and stuff like that um so yeah it's kind of like a healthier version of it got water instead of soda or any of that nasty stuff that they sell there you know yeah movies, so. all right cool and then i picked up some um legendary nut and berry mix <laughs> it was totally caught me. He he wanted to one up me and be like legendary. It was it's legendary, so sometimes you gotta get the legendary, you know. Right, but how how different is this? Mine is almonds, cranberries, cashews. Uh, my, mine has almonds, cranberries, raisins, wow, raisins, cashews, blueberries, the walnuts. I love the walnuts. I know, me too. And then raspberries. He so. wins. You win. That's so, fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's legendary. He wins. Yes. Legendary. He wins. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, we're headed to the movies. We're going to see uh, at Universal. We're going to check out the movie at seven. So um, today is it's actually the first showing of this movie. Today is the premiere for the movie. So we're this is the pretty this yeah. is pretty good. We're the first ones there. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a sec. Just made it to the movie, and we're about to go in. Two hours later. Hey, we just stepped out of the movie, and uh, what you think? Thought it was great. Thought it was pretty good. We'll see you at the review. All right, so we just went to go see um, yesterday, and what was your reaction? It was great. It was a lot better than I had imagined because I thought it was going to be like a fantasy type movie, but right. it was. It was amazing. It was like a very like a feel good movie. A lot of funny moments, mm -hmm. which I did. I did appreciate great acting. So like story wise, what would you kind of rate that on a scale from one to ten? Story wise, I actually thought it was kind of original. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean. Like and it was such a great story because it was a love story, but it was also like a tribute to the Beatles, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was you know original and. Uh, funny and you know cute in a way a lot of like the parents and the, the crazy friend absolutely that's great yeah the um the the crazy friend and the uh oh my favorite people are the crazy friend and then the the manager the manager kate mckinnon is one of my favorite actresses she's amazing saturday night live yeah i only watch it because of her <laughs> honestly she is so talented i yeah, love yeah. her it was really good so I mean, I would say a story-wise, I would have to give it a nine because it was like really original. It feels like one of those ideas that you would come up with, that you would wish you came up with. You know right. What I mean? Yeah. So because um, it's entertaining and interesting, and yeah. Yeah, for definitely for um, story creativity. Um, so, uh, what would you give it it's about um, on, our, on a scale from one to ten? Um, I I would. I would probably give it like close to a ten. Uh, Actually, for like a story, maybe probably okay. yeah, like nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, or absolutely, something. absolutely. Yeah. Visually, like, how did that was that movie appealing to you? I think the scenes from like the um, the bay, kind of like by the water, was amazing. Like as far as uh, uh, visual stuff, I did think the digital stuff always seems a little too like cheesy for me. Like mm -hmm. the YouTube like videos. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I know they had to use it, and like the balloons and the hearts. I mean, it's cool, but I felt like it was a little bit too cheesy for me personally. So I would I would say probably like a seven, maybe yeah. Like a ten. Yeah, I, I felt about around the same. So um, it was. There were cool stuff because, like, I like the on the digital side, like, they did, like, the location. So, they had the, you know, the... Moscow. They, yeah, Moscow. You know where they're at all the time. Right. And it kind of came through really, uh, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it was definitely, like, probably more... I, I don't even want to just totally agree on that. But it was about a seven, though. So, it's... No. It was... Uh, it was fun. Uh, 
it was about yeah, I mean it's probably just basic. It's not like a high tech movie or anything like that. So it was, it, but it was really fun though the way they yeah, it was the way a good addition it. to yeah to just like clarify. Okay, we're going back to L.A. Right, we're, we're traveling here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. So overall experience, um, movie experience, uh, like actually watching it, like the fun factor of it. Uh, what kind of score would you give it on that? Honestly, that's like the type of movie that I would watch again if I wanted to like just, you know, if I had nothing to do on a Sunday and I just wanted a feel good movie, you know, there's not, I feel like there's not a lot of those yeah, yeah, yeah. nowadays, mm. so I'm glad I gave this a chance. Um, I would say, you know, honestly, to me, that's like a nine out of 10 movie. It was great. Okay, cool. So I personally would probably give it um, an eight. Um, I thought I felt it was really overall experience. Like the idea of it was amazing, right? And uh, the overall experience it was fun. I felt like, um, I, well, I don't without giving out the movie away. I felt like there was gonna be some other twist. some other twists or right, more right, or, right. or more consequences involved, right? And I felt like they kind of dropped the ball a little bit on that end of it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, overall experience it was a really, a really fun movie. I, I can see myself. It's definitely like one of those DVD movies that you yeah, would see. Yeah, yeah. Just and, save it, you know. Just, right, save it yeah. for your Netflix and chills or something. <laughs> like it's definitely. <laughs> It's definitely one of those type of movies you'll throw on, like right. and just have on your. In your well, collection. the only reason why I wouldn't give it like a ten out of ten was because mm -hmm. it did feel maybe just a touch bit cheesy because okay. of the end of the story. But one of the reasons why I really uh, also liked it because there w wasn't once again no spoil no, no spoilers. <laughs> but there weren't like a huge confrontation issue, mm -hmm. and I feel like a lot of times in like the earlier movies, like because this is the type of movie that I felt like they used to make probably in the like nineties. Yeah, like, it definitely felt like that. And uh, there wasn't like this big like as you said like it was kind of missing a twist. But I actually I actually liked that because I just felt like it was really smooth, you know. Yeah, and there were a couple other things that I liked about it, like. Um, that they really do explain like the the when it happens and it, there's other things that are kind of missing out of the world right. that so I love the way that they did that um, mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty pretty slick and it was really funny like that made that made the movie for me like all those little uh, plot twists of things missing out of the world so yeah, I, yeah. I really really love that yeah. whatever so sure. um, so I definitely would say uh, so yeah I, I gave it about an eight so I guess um, that's uh, definitely a must see then. Yeah, so you definitely, go, you definitely, you definitely. So as we tallied up, <laughs> so as we tallied up the numbers, um, Julia gives it eight point six. She gets to nine if you round it up. Closer to nine, so it's an eight point six, and I gave her it an eight. So I really felt like it was really fun, really cool movie to see. Um, Pretty funny, like also like that's. An it, was, it was it was funny. funny, and if you're into like the Beatles music, you'll really appreciate oh, it because they really like touched on a lot of the songs, and mm. you know, and then there's you even kind of learn a little bit about the Beatles that I didn't know that they were actually like true like places and things when they like created those songs for the Beatles so mm -hmm. I just kind of like was like wow that's kind of cool you learn a lot about the Beatles that you probably didn't know mm -hmm. um, just the way they kind of touch on it yeah yeah definitely go see it I definitely recommend you know don't be skeptical like me yeah don't just go see uh, Juan John Ronnie you know just like you know open open yourself up to something different you'll you'll like it <laughs> absolutely oh so where can people well where can people follow you your IG so Oh, can... yes. My Instagram is Julia, J-U-L-I-A underscore S-Y-I. And we'll put it down below. Yes. Absolutely. Do. And follow him, too. Okay. Awesome guy. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank great you. great time. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, that'll be Rich Kid LA. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we care about your Instagram too. Right, okay? we care about so my it's Instagram. Not, it's not right? just me. It's not all about right? me. Yes. Absolutely. You, this is the real mind, the creative mind right here. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. Until the next one, um, hopefully uh, Julie can come back at an, on another future date. And then, um, uh, yeah, we'll see. Check out another movie, but definitely check out Yesterday. Great movie. She gave it 8.6. I gave it 8. Amazing. Agreed. Cool. Until the next one. Peace.